am Karen Napolitano. I am the Education and Outreach Coordinator for Sims Municipal Recycling. In New York City, about 14% of our waste stream is plastic. So about 14% of, of the stuff we throw away is plastic. And about half of that is recyclable, is, is rigid plastic. So a, roughly 7% of, of what we throw away is, is recyclable plastic. Now, the capture rate, meaning the amount of a material that people are actually putting in the recycling bin, I should say the amount of a recyclable material that people are actually putting into the recycling bin, it, it's about half when it comes to plastic. So it's about half when, when it comes to, to our recyclables really in general in New York City. We New Yorkers are recycling 50% of what we could be recycling. The other 50% is getting put in the trash. So what is that? That's something like three and a half percent of of our waste is, is plastic that, that is actually ending up in the recycling bin. Okay, so even though we don't have to sort it ourselves, people are still throwing away a lot of trash, and some of that may be recyclable. And then the flip side of that is we're recycling things we shouldn't be. You might still be thinking, well, there are some issues we need to clear up, but that recycling is a usable program. The disposable plastics, or at least some of them, can be made into other things. And that's true sometimes, but it's not always the be-all, end-all answer it's often advertised as. I try to end each of my tours with this fact, you know, because my job is to teach people about recycling. But I have to bring attention to the fact that recycling is only halfway up that waste hierarchy of, you know, preferred methods for managing our waste. Recycling is not number one. Recycling will not save us. Recycling alone will not save us. So at the very top of that waste hierarchy, the most preferred thing to do to manage your waste is to not create any waste in the first place. <laughs> Just reduce the amount of waste you produce. And there won't be a problem at all. You know, there won't be a waste problem. There won't be waste to manage. And one way to reduce is to reuse. That's number two on the, on the hierarchy. You know, and yeah, get a reusable shopping bag, get a reusable coffee mug and then water bottle cool. Get those reusable items and then really commit to reusing them. Don't get 10 reusable water bottles and start chucking them. No, you have to get the bottle and then actually commit to reusing it. But in the bigger picture of reuse, it's also buying things that will last buying things you can repair, refurbish, replace parts. Don't buy the thing that's going to break and become waste next week or next year. Kara said it. Recycling will not save us. Better sorting will not save us. But this system was never really built to save us. It was conceived of and promoted as a guilt eraser so that the plastics industry could keep making more plastic. Now, we should be clear. Recycle your plastics. It's certainly better than sending them to the landfill. But when you can, move up that hierarchy of ours. Reuse, and if possible, reduce. 